Hi, this is JB from Not the Lights Over Arkham. This is another Eye of Chaos episode where we pick a random investigator, build a chaos deck for them, and then try to tackle the Midnight Mass scenario and do the best we can. So, this time let's see what uh, investigator we get. So, I have my remaining uh, investigators in this bag and We'll see what uh, investigator will get for this run. And we get a rogue. So the first rogue we have uh, received so far in this series. And none other than Montgomery Jack. So a brand new investigator from the Edge of the Earth investigator expansion. So uh, let's hop over to ArkhamDB.com and build a deck for... Uh, Montgomery or Monterey Jack uh, such a new character that I'm messing up the name already so we are over on ArkhamDB.com and let's uh, search for Monterey Jack here he is and uh, let's create a chaos deck for him so I haven't played Monterey Jack at all yet I was trying to save Monterey Jack for my initial blind run of the Edge of the Earth um, campaign, but as it seems, I am playing Monterey Jack here. So let's see what kind of deck we get for uh, Monterey Jack. So I'm just pu pushing the chaos button here and we'll generate the deck. Okay, well, as you know, Monterey Jack is a rogue that uh, will start turning into a Seeker, so we have five slots for Seeker cards level zero, and the others are rogue cards. So let's go over the deck. Uh, first off, uh, we start <laughs> weekly with Kukri, which is a pretty weak weapon, but at least it's a weapon. Uh, then we have one copy of Pocket Telescope, and this is a rogue and Seeker card, so it takes up a rogue uh, card slot, so it doesn't take up the Seeker slots. Uh, pocket telescope could be actually useful in this uh, playthrough. Uh, then, of course, we have the trusty bullwhip and <laughs> crystallizer of dreams. Okay, well, um, hopefully we are getting good uh, cards to commit so that we can put our uh, good uh, events that we can put underneath this. Otherwise, this is a trash card. Um, Tooth of Ethely. <laughs> not that, not that good. Uh, well, at least it boosts uh, our agility, but not doing much with the willpower. Two art students. Well, at least this will help us pick up the easy clues. Uh, Henry one, <laughs> the worst ally in the game, I think. Uh, Loni Ritter. Well, Loni is. Uh, Fine card, but okay. Well, we need we don't have ways to fight efficiently. At least we get bonus to the fighting if we get Lonnie onto the table. Uh, then we have hard knocks, which will help us fight and evade, but I think it's not needed. Uh, let's see. Next up, we have uh, investments. I think not that necessary. Uh, painkillers. Uh, we have low sanity, so this is not useful. We won't be using this at all. Stealth. Mm, okay, might might be useful, but maybe not because our uh, agility is high enough already, so we don't need the boost for that. Uh, you handle this one. A multiplayer card, so useless. Barricade. Could be useful in a situation or two. Uh, calling in favors. Well, we have a lot of allies, so we might do some ally shuffling with this. Uh, daring maneuver. Uh, we don't have any uh, plus to succeed um, tech in the deck at at, uh, at all. So, uh, well, it, it's a wild icon, so nothing more about that. Uh, decoy, mm, 
we are good at evading, so this is only for good for the icons, I think. Uh, elusive, always a good card. Postian Bargain, one of the better uh, resource generation cards. Uh, knowledge is power. Uh, we don't have any tomes or spells, so useless. Uh, narrow escape. Uh, uh, well, it cancels an attack, so it could be really good for uh, tanking the bigger enemies in the scenario. Uh, Pilfer. Well, at least it's uh, auto grab two clues, so or no auto, but uh, you get uh, add your agility to your um, intellect, so a pretty powerful car for Monterey. Uh, small favor, at least uh, we get enough resources we can do some damage to something with this uh, so <laughs> not really impressed so far with the deck uh, we have one copy of daredevil uh, not that good in a random deck desperate search uh, could be good if we take some sanity loss uh, guts could be important in some situations hatchet man not good because we're not fighting at all Nimble is really good with Monterey and quick thinking, uh, well, always a good card. Then uh, the random weakness is, uh, let's generate it, not look at it, it is Panic. So this is a newer card from the Edge of the Earth, so let's go through it. It's a neutral madness, uh, put Panic in the play in your threat area, Panic can be healed as if it were a single point of horror on you. If it is healed, discard it. Force. After you take a play, engage or resource action, you cannot take any of those types of actions for the remainder of the turn. And uh, we don't have any way to heal the horror, so that is a problem. But it is what it is, so that is the deck, so we have to <laughs> do our best with that. Uh, at least uh, Monterey is a pretty good uh, investigator, so there's that. So uh, we have set up the scenario already, so next up we need to build the deck, so I'll build the deck and let's get going. Okay, and we are ready to begin, so a couple of words about Monterey Jack, so uh, Jack has the ability if at the end of your turn, if you started this round one location away from your current location, either gain one resource or draw one card. If you started this round uh, two or more locations away, do both instead and the Elder Sun effect is plus one. If you started this round one or more locations away from your current location, gain one resource or draw one card. So to help me out, uh, of course I need resources here. So to help me out, I'm using this token to indicate uh, which location uh, Monterey uh, started the turn. So I'll just place it over the location so we can easily determine how many locations away from the starting location Monterey is. So uh, I have shuffled the uh, deck and the encounter deck and there, of course, the cool priest is in the encounter deck. And we are playing on standard difficulty, so let's uh, start by drawing our opening hand of five cards. Let's see what we get. Hopefully something useful. I don't have high hopes because the deck is utterly bad, I, in my opinion. Well, I'm keeping nimble so that we can sp sprint off if we find any enemies. Uh, Bilfer is good, so we might just head to uh, Miskatonic University Bilfer and get out. Uh, elusive is good. Uh, I think I'm keeping Kukri, so let's just draw Daredevil, so hard knocks. Nothing really fancy. Well, there are not that many good cards in the deck, so we got some of those better end cards. So maybe I should be happy, happy with those, so just a quick shuffle here. And we're ready to begin, so... Uh, I think first action, we will just investigate five versus, 
I mean, four versus two. Mm, do I want to? I don't want to commit anything. Um, I think I play Kukri first. So I'll play Kukri. Second action, I'll investigate. Four versus two, not committing anything. It is a zero, so we grab this clue. Last action, we will move to River Town. So there is one clue there. And that is our turn. At the end of the turn, I decide to get a resource. With the Monterey Jack's ability, we ready up, draw a card, uh, art student, and we gain one resource. So. Uh, that is the first turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add a Doom to the agenda. First encounter card for this game is uh, Mysterious Chanting. So uh, we don't have any uh, cultists in play, so we search for one. And uh, I think we just need to pick one uh, Acolyte. At least that one we might be able to deal with. At some point, uh, or we maybe just put it somewhere and forget about it. So I'm just thinking, uh, I could hard knocks, play hard knocks, move, fight. Yeah, let's do that. So I'll put it in uh, Miskatonic University. Okay, uh, first action will play Hard Knocks. Two resources. Second action will move to Miskatonic University. So the Acolyte engages us. There are two clues here. Yeah, this should be a clue token. We started from here. And uh, last action, uh, we will spend two resources to boost the, our fight with hard knocks and fight. Uh, I'm using the Kukri. I'll get plus one for this attack, so. I'm fighting 5 versus 3. Uh, actually, I think 4 versus 3 is enough. So, minus 1, we kill off the Acolyte, so we remove it from the game, or to the, to the discard, rather. Uh, at the end of our turn, I'll take our resource with the Monterey Jack's ability, we draw a card, then we gain a resource. So that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. We add another Doom, uh, encounter card <laughs> is the Ghoul Priest. Well, luckily the Ghoul Priest spawns at your house, so we are able to start to running away, and that we that is what we will probably do for the rest of the game against the Cool Priest. First action, I will uh, play Pilfer. So, playing Pilfer, so put my hand over here. Costs four. Uh, we are investigating uh, the Miskatonic University 9 versus. And it is a plus one, so we are e easily successful. So uh, we discovered two additional clues at our location. There are only two, so I'll gar uh, grab these two. Then uh, I will spawn. Uh, actually, I won't spawn a cultist yet. Uh, What should I do? Yeah, I'll, I'll just spawn the cultist. 
So spending two clues. The first call this is root turner. So we spawn root turner at uh, the St. Mary's Hospital. So we are definitely heading there to eat root by evading. And last action. Uh, let's see. I think I'll grab a resource. Uh, enemy face, the ghoul priest hunts here. Uh, nothing else happens. We go to upkeep, draw a card, <laughs> panic <laughs> the worst time. So um, put panic into play in your threat area. Panic can be healed as if it were a single point of horror on you. If this is healed, he's guarded, forced. Uh, after you take a play, engage, or resource action, you cannot take any of those types of actions for the remainder of your turn. So I have to try and remember I can't do those actions more than once a turn. So, so it, it works like if I do a play action, I can't make a engage or resource action either. So I think that is how it works. Uh, we will move this here, so that is the next turn starting point. Oh yeah, and we gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add another Doom. Encounter card for this turn is... Another Acolyte. Well, aren't we lucky? So uh, this time I think we just need to face it and put this guy out of our way so I'm spawning it at your house leave that there uh, we'll go to the investigation phase so first action we are moving to St. Mary's Hospital uh, Ruth Turner engages us second action we are evading so I'm using, uh, I'm not playing stealth, but I'm using stealth as a boost card and nimble as a boost card. So I am evading 5, 6, 7 versus 5. Let's go 8 versus 5. It is minus two, so mm, six versus five, so we succeed by one. Uh, we get to use Nimble to move once for free, but Root Turner is evaded and goes to the victory display. So uh, we still have one action, and I think we <laughs> we need to run away from the Ghoul Priest. So let's do that. So we'll move to north side. There are two ghouls here, and that is our turn. The ghoul priest hunts here. Uh, nothing else happens. We'll go to upkeep. We, oh yeah, uh, we started one location away, so I'll grab our resource again. So yeah, we'll go to upkeep. We get daring maneuver and one resource, and that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we add a Doom, so we are already at 5 of 6 Doom. Encounter card is Crypt Chill. Uh, I think we're just failing this, so... Let's see what happens. So... It is a 0, but we are a Willpower 1, so we fail. And I think the Kukri is gone. And that is that. Uh, investigation phase, we'll play the art student. So we can't do uh, resource or gauge actions. We'll grab one clue here. Uh, we'll spend the clues. Get the second uh, cultist. <laughs> it is Victor Devro. And of course, we don't have uh, the resources at hand. 
So that is a bummer. We might have to circle back for Victoria later. So, or we can just take the damage. Hmm. I think I'm uh, moving. I'll move to downtown. So we started here. And uh, Victoria hits us for one damage, and I'll take it on myself. And that is our turn. The cool priest hunts here. Yeah, we are engaged uh, with that enemy. We'll uh, go to upkeep. Or that was at the end of our turn. I'll take a resource with the Montreal Jack's ability. Uh, we'll draw a card. We gain one resource. That is that turn. Just double checking. Yeah, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add a doom, so we advance. We'll just remove this. So, uh, unfortunately, that means we'll get the mask hunter on our uh, on us. So, mask hunter is four fight, four health. Uh, to evade humanoid cultist elite, spawn engaged with prey, prey most clues, hunter, mass hunter gets plus two health per investigator, so six in total. While you are engaged with the mass hunter, you cannot discover or spend clues. So the mass hunter comes into play, engaged with us. Encounter card for this turn is false lead. If you have no clues, this can search. We don't have any clues. And on Wings of Darkness, well, ain't this lucky, so this is actually our starting location. So I'm, uh, I, I would rather want to fail this. So I'm testing uh, four, uh, 5 versus 4 for the Wings of Darkness. <laughs> it is an auto fail. So actually this is a good thing for us, so these guys are Unengaged from me. I'll drop here, but I'll take one damage, one horror. That is okay. We are rid of those pesky uh, enemies and we are already two locations away. So that is the uh, mythos phase. We'll go to the investigation phase. First action I will. I will just investigate here. No, I'll just move to the graveyard. Two clues here. Uh, graveyard uh, says after you enter here, test uh, in the willpower three. If you fail, you must either take two or, or move to river town. So I'm just failing this. It is a minus two, so we fail. I'll take the two. So, uh, our student is dead, and that is that. Uh, second action will investigate. Uh, in investigating uh, four versus one, elder sign, and um, I'll take one resource and one card with the elder sign ability, or draw a card. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's do it like this because now I know the card. So we only take the card here. We'll grab the clue. Last action. We will investigate. Four versus one. <laughs> Another elder sign. So uh, this time I'm grabbing the clue again. <laughs> buried secrets. Uh, put buried secrets in the plain your threat area. If your location can be investigated, you cannot move except by scenario card effects. Uh, Action investigate if you succeed instead of discovering clues, discard bird secrets. If you fail, you may take two horror to shuffle with you to your deck. Uh, let me read it again. So, action investigate if you succeed instead of discovering clues, discard bird secrets. If you fail, uh, you may take two horror to shuffle it into your deck. Okay, well, still we got the clue, and that is our turn. So 
I will go to the enemy face, so let's see. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. So, full priest hunts the Miskatonic University. These guys can go one, two, three, four. One, two, three. So, they have to. Uh, this is. Only the mask hunter is a hunter. Victor Devro is not a hunter. And we started. Uh, Two lo uh, ended two locations away, so we actually got. Yeah, this was from uh, the Elder Sun. Yeah, so we get one card and one resource. So Lonely Reacher and one resource. So that is that. Then uh, upkeep, we get another card and one another resource. So I <laughs> playing monetary check is. Quite interesting. You are not starving for resources or cards if you just keep moving. But uh, yeah, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We'll add a doom. Oh yeah, and we'll move this over here. And counter card for this turn is mysterious chanting. So we add two doom to the nearest cultist enemy. If there are no cultist enemies in play, this can get search. So I'm adding them on to the nearest. So one, two, one, two. Yeah, I'll just add it here. Okay, that is the mythos phase. We'll go to the investigation phase. So first action, we will uh, spend two clues to get another cultist. Peter Warren, so Peter spawns at the Miskatonic University. And uh, hmm. let's see. Okay, so if your location can be investigated, you cannot move except by scenario card effect. So I can't move from a river town if I move there. So I think I'm just investigating to get rid of the buried secrets here. So investigating four versus one. Elder sign. So okay, I'm getting super lucky. So uh, if you start this round one or more location away from the current location, well, we didn't, so we don't get any benefits, only the plus one. So uh, this is discarded. Last action. I think I'm just staying here. So let's see if there is anything we could play. We'll play Lonnie Ritter just to get a bit more soap into play. And that is our turn. Uh, Unfortunately, we can't heal uh, horror with this, so that is unfortunate. But yeah, it is what it is. Uh, we didn't move, so we don't get any extra resources or cards. So uh, enemy face, uh, mask hunter hunts here, ghoul priest hunts here, acolyte stays there, those guys stay there. We go to upkeep, we draw a card, a trusty bull whip, and we gain one resource. And that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We'll add a doom. So uh, we are at four of eight, so we don't have that much time left. Encounter card is false lead. It can search. We don't have any clues. And the next one is hunting shadow. Uh, we don't have any clues to spend, so we have to take two damage. Take one on Lonnie. This is one on Lonnie, one on myself, and this should be one. This, I think I took one too many, but now I'm not completely sure, but whatever. Uh, let's see, uh, investigation phase. Mm. I think we just move here. We will uh, fast action. 
play Evade while these guys engage us, so or we play Elusive rather, it's cost 2. So play during a turn, disengage from each enemy, engage with you and move to a revealed location with no enemies. So I think I will be moving... Uh, to the south side. This is because I want to get the clue from here, then move here next time, get the clue from here, move here, and defeat Peter Warren. So uh, I will investigate and I will commit uh, Daredevil. Or no, I won't. I don't want to. <laughs> I'm committing the daring maneuver, so 5 versus 3. So it is enough, we grab this clue. And uh, last action we'll move to St. Mary's Hospital. And uh, we are two locations away, so we get a card and one resource. Uh, enemy face, these guys hunt here. We'll go to upkeep, so we draw card, cuts, gain one resource. And that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. We had a doom, so 5 of 8. We don't have that many turns left. Encounter card is Crypt Chill. So this should be gone already. Hmm. I'm actually trying to pass this, so I'm using painkillers, guts, and quick thinking to the test. So I'm. One, two, three, four, five versus four. If we fail, we fail, but it is what it is. Minus one, so we don't get any benefits from quick thinking, but we pass and we draw a card with uh, guts. And that is the mythos phase. We'll go to investigation phase. First action will investigate four versus two. It is a zero. Second action, oh yeah, we started here, so second action will move here, last action we will spend two clues to defeat Peter Warren, and that is our turn, enemy face, these guys hunt here, oh yeah, at the end of our round I'll take one resource, and then uh, at the uh, upkeep phase, we'll get a card and one resource, so that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. We'll add Doom, so we are at 6 of 8, and count card is on Wings of Darkness. Well, this we want to succeed, so I'm committing Decoy and Narrow Escape. <laughs> it is the auto fail, so nothing, not lucky there. So Lonnie takes one, I'll take one damage here. We'll move to a center location. Oh, yeah, we started from this location. Okay, and uh, let's see. Uh, investigation phase first action will move, second action will move over here. Last action we will just uh, investigate. I will commit barricade and frosty bullwhip. Elder sign, we are one location away from where we started, so I'll take a card. And that is a, a, a clue. Enemy base, these guys hunt here. Upkeep. Draw a card, gain a resource, 
That is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. So we started here. Okay, so uh, we are at seven of eight encounter cardies. So this is definitely the last turn. Hunting night gun. Well, mm, I think we are taking a bunch of uh, hits from this guy, but it is what it is. So. First action, we will move, take attacks of opportunity, so I'll take horror here, damage here. Uh, second action, we will spend five uh, resources to parlay, so this, uh, the, this cultist goes here. And parlay doesn't cause attacks of opportunity. And last action, we will resign, so we drop our clue here, and get out of here. So this guy is left behind, and that is the game. Well, um, I think that went pretty well, considering our deck, so I think Ontario Jack is a real good investigator in all, even with a lousy deck. So let's uh, review, so we got three cultists defeated. We got one, two, three victory points for, from location, so a total of six victory points. So I think that's a pretty good uh, result, even though we had the panic in play for most of the game. So I think I didn't ever play and take a resource and never engaged any enemies because they were always engaging me. So they weren't actions, so I think I played this correctly. But if I didn't, let me know in the comments below. But anyway, that was Monterey Jack, my first ever time playing that investigator. Thanks for watching and until next time.